It is time for our first shootout challenge here in NHL 24. You know the drill by now. We hop into random online shootouts and put some packs on the line. But if you missed the news, we have a little extra on the line this year. I'm going 100% free to play in Hockey Ultimate Team. So what does that mean for the shootout challenge? Well, each and every pack that we're putting on the line is literally the only pack that I'm getting for the entire week. Right now, my team is absolute trash. I need all the players that I can get, and I do not want to have to come in here and discard the only pack that I get. As you can see in the top right, I have 1,200 points. You got 4,600 for pre-ordering the X Factor edition of the game. That's all I get for the entire year. And to make it even more interesting, for today's video, we're hopping into two online shootouts. For the first shootout, I'm using the new Total Control Controller scheme. Yeah, still don't know how I feel about this. It is the simple Y button to do the Michigan. Very controversial. For game number two, we're going back to what I'm used to, the skill stick. We have to win both of the games to get one of the packs. The pack we're putting on the line is the Mega Players Pack. Five guaranteed 80 plus overall players and 30 all gold items. Looking at our probabilities, they're not great. We have a 2.4% chance at an 86 plus. That would be Connor McDavid and a 57% chance at an 83 plus. If I win both the shootouts, I come over open the pack and keep what's inside and if i lose just one of them we have to come over open this up and sell everything for as cheap as possible so a little extra pressure in the shootout challenge this year let's get into shootout number one as you can see this is my first ever online shootout also i have never used the tethered goalie system so this could be a disaster first we have to get our random team in three two one <laughs> The New York Rangers, what a shootout lineup that is. Let's go. It is game time. Our first shootout. I'm not going to lie. Shootout mode is so dead. I had to send out a tweet to get someone in this game. We are on the new total controls. I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea even what I'm doing. I wanted to try the, the Michigan flip, but I have never once done it. And that is what you get. A bit of an ugly start. All right. So this is going to be my first time on the tether system. So we got to get used to playing Tendi in this game. <laughs> Everyone is going to be so bad because the stick handling is so slow and different this year. All right. Zabinijad. Let's go. A little off the skate. We're going to walk in. Little Toei. Stand still. Toei. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Zibby! Dude, how did he actually bury that? He even slid over to that side. He just gave me a little bit of room there on that top corner. And Zabinijad finds a way. What a finish. What a selly too. You know what I was kind of thinking? I thought they might have those crazy spotlight sellies in the shootout mode. And that was going to be the most toxic thing that I have ever seen. Good news is it isn't. We still get to see the good old sellies. And I'm not going to lie. I kind of miss it. I kind of miss it. All right, Laffy, little jump deke. I'm going to go behind the back. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I was trying to do my behind the back toe drag. And for some reason, he just lifted it up and went for the fake clapper. Actually turned out kind of clean, though. The fake clapper to the snipe top left. And he and he went backwards. Boys, we have, we've been blessed for our first shootout. Let's just say that. We have been absolutely blessed. No one knows what they're doing. No one knows how to do it. <gasps> dude i'm using the total control that i don't know what i'm doing i tried aiming that shot and he just shot it directly to the corner as okay our first shootout is done so with the total controls you know listen you guys see the good the bad and the ugly on this channel and let's just say right off the rip a bit of an ugly shootout you know i was trying to use the skill stick as i normally would we were faking slap shots we were accidentally scoring goals but i gotta say we were making some nasty saves so we have our first shootout our first victory and we are halfway to keeping our first pack hey you guys gotta let me know what controller scheme are you using for nhl 24 you go into the total controls or you're staying with the skill stick i think for me i'm probably gonna be sticking to the skill stick but we gotta switch the controls now and hop in to game two okay uh we're learning that the menu screen in the shootout settings still has uh the black text on the black screen so that's what we're currently dealing with i have to go from total control to skill stick now Let's see if we can get a dub here on the skill stick controls. Hey, just so you know, it's completely legit. All right, one and oh, boom. All right, we got blessed with the Rangers. Time to be blessed again in three, two, one. Toronto, dude. 
No shot. We get the Rangers in Toronto. Maybe two of the best shootout lineups that we can get. We got Austin Matthews. We also have the uh, the milk and the, the TikTok ads on the unis. So you know what? We're getting that W. Let's go. Okay. We know what we have on the line here. It is a loss and we lose the entire pack. My, my final remaining points here in NHL 24. We're back on the skills to controls. Also, I am not a huge fan of this goalie angle. We are so far in the air. This guy, this guy knows what he's doing. I tell you what, holy. Nice little sidestep, nice little finish. This guy, this is gonna be a challenge. This is what we play for though. This is what we live for. We're gonna play nice and smart here. Nothing crazy. Like my first shot of the last shootout, we literally just tossed up a Michigan and threw it away, all right? So we're gonna be smarter here. A little behind the back, a little Kyle Terrace, backhand, forehand, bang. Woohoo! Let's go, Matthews. The nice moves beforehand, but nothing crazy on the actual shot. We don't want to take any unneeded risks. All right, he doesn't know how to play Tendi, just like I don't know how to play Tendi. Going to be a lot of goals in this one. Nice finish there, Matt. We are going to need a couple saves. Now, he likes to come in close, so I might end up going for the big fly. I'm there! Give me a save, man. Not going to lie, you know, nice nice and simple move. Backhand, forehand. I guess if you want to save that, you gotta, you really got to hug the post this year. I feel like I was in at least decent position to make a play on that, but not quite. We got Martyr coming in. What is he going to do? I think I might just hold this to the forehand the whole time. That's kind of clean. I was getting in his head just a little bit. You, you, you shimmy it a few times. You, you fake the backhand. We hold it to the forehand the whole way. He's been diving. I don't know if it's automatically diving for him if he's actually going into that uh, the spread the bones. Nice finish, though, regardless. We're tied at two. We said from the beginning this is going to be an offensive-minded shootout. Husey, nothing. Nothing. Let's go. Okay. Now, I did tweet this out, so it's possible we have some people that, that they're, they're, they're trying to fancy it up a little bit, which I can respect. So, you know what? I'm going to do the same. Let's fancy it up a bit. That would have been perfect, too. I was getting ready to hit the Datsuk flip on him. Nice save, though. Nice flying poke. He has me thinking that I should probably go for a flying poke, which means he's maybe anticipating it. You know what we're going to do it anyways. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, we're playing smart here, fellas. We're starting to learn a little bit. Okay, you know what Old Faithful is, fellas? This move never misses. Between the legs, backhand. Let's go, Tavares. Let's go. That, that anytime you need a goal in a shootout against a user-controlled goalie, I am telling you right now, that is the move to go with. That has saved me in so many shootout challenges over the year. Because everyone thinks you're going to be super fancy and just go between the legs. But no, you hit him with the fake and take it backhand. A save here wins the game. I'm going to hit him with a fake fly. Just come out. Come out. Go back in. Let's go, baby. What a win. And we have somehow survived. Shootout challenge number one. Two games. Two different controller schemes and two different victories. Dude, with what we had on the line, that was that was a little scary. When I saw him come in and pull off his first move, like he had a couple nice moves, strung them together. I was scared. I thought we were throwing a pack away today, but no, we have lived to fight another day. We are keeping our mega pack. And I tell you what, whatever I pull in this thing, uh, there's a good chance that three or four of the cards are making my starting hut roster. So we'll take it, boys. Big W for the fellas. Shootout challenge number one. Let's get to our pack. Hey, with a 2-0 record, we are now 38th ranked in the world in NHL 24. You know what? Top 50 right off the rip. Not bad. Not bad. I tell you what, free to play is going to be so fun for the videos this year. Like, first of all, there was so much on the line in that shootout. I knew I had to get the W. Second of all, I'm actually fired up to open this pack. Just look at my team right now. Like, this is the best that I got. 84 overall Willie O'Ree. That was from the pre-order bonus. The best pull that I've got is an 83 Malkin. That's all I have. You come down to line four, line three, like any of the cards that we get from this pack can make the team. One pack and one pack only. It is time to make history. Yes, we may only have a 2.4% chance at a Connor McDavid, but today we are hitting that 2.4% chance. Cue the hype music, boys. Today, we are making history. This will set my team up for the rest of the year. One Connor McDavid card that I can sell and grab the coins from, and we are set. Ryan Strom coming in an 80 overall. Let's keep this rolling. Obviously, we have all gold players with 580 plus overalls. We only have one so far, so hey, I'm not freaking out too much until we get towards the end. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of filler cards in these packs. We've seen it time and time again. Look at the look at the flow and the beard on this guy. That is a man right there. We need something. We need something above an 80 overall, boys. Holy. We got two 80s. I'm telling you, my pack. 
I asked for something above an 80 overall, and this is what I get. Come on. So that's three out of the way. We have two more guaranteed 80 pluses. Obviously not the start that we wanted, but this is where things get electric. All right. We get one pack and one pack only. I can't open up another... You know, you know what the good thing is? We're not wasting like 10 to $15 on this pack like I would have, right? This used to be me going out of my way, swiping the credit card, $15 down the drain. Two trips to Chipotle, down the drain. No, now we're just losing our, our hard-earned time instead, which maybe is equally as bad. This has been absolutely awful. We have one more guaranteed pull at the end. We have one more 80 plus. And it's gonna be an 84! Bang! Honestly, I'll take a Josh Morrissey. Hey, if you guys don't know, the ratings are bumped way down this year. So an 84, while, while it's not the most exciting card being a Josh Morrissey, he had quite the year last year. And an 86 overall is Connor McDavid. So 84 on defense, this is going to be huge. Probably the best defenseman that I have, aside from the guaranteed 85 overall Kale that we have. We will take that all day long. Josh Morrissey, welcome to the team. And how, hey, Jamie Drysdale. First of all, get your contract, dude. You got to get that done. Second of all, another good defenseman to hop on the squad. 80 overall, we'll take that. And that will do it. Okay, honestly... I will take that all day. Our chances of hitting above an 83%. We're only 57 to get an 84 even better than that. We'll take that. But it is a Josh Morris. I mean, hey, he popped off last year, though. He popped off. Hey, look at this. We have earned ourselves a first pairing D-man from winning the shootout challenge. So that is going to do it for our first shootout challenge. This one, a bit interesting. A bit sloppy, but that's to be expected. Every single shootout challenge is going to be an absolute banger this year. So let me know any ideas that you guys have for different challenges in the comment section below. Going to be a great year here for NHL 24 content and hockey videos in general. So if you enjoyed, hit the video with the like, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1 million subscribers, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.